Hi, my name's DJ Cleland Hura. I'm an artist. I've always thought of, of a, a pair of pintails as the most elegant of, of ducks. To me, they always feel like they're, they're dressed up. They feel like they're in evening wear. Wildlife Habitat Canada cares about wildlife and wild places in Canada. By supporting the people who care about the same things that we do, we help fund valuable conservation work. Through our art competition, every year, we bring Canadian art and wildlife together. So let's explore the art side of Wildlife Habitat Canada. My inspiration for the 2020 design, stamp design, um, started with the fact that Pintails are my favorite duck. They always have been. But then there was also my early influence of Robert Bateman. Um, my parents supported my love of Bateman by, by actually purchasing his first two stamps, his first two uh, Canadian stamps. I, I thought, wow, what a wonderful opportunity to, to do a submission for the stamp contest um, of, of Pintails because uh, Bateman's painting had been such an influential image when I was younger. It was a combination of, of uh, my love, my just genuine love of pintails and uh, the early inspiration of, of Bateman on my work. I guess I would have to say it's different for each project that I'm doing. Um, if, if there are very specific parameters to the image that I'm, I'm working on, then uh, there's a pretty arduous design phase. But uh, everything that I do starts out as, as uh, a series of sketches, very small thumbnail sketches where I am, I'm working out composition, um, basic values, breaking up the space uh, and understanding my light sources um, so that I, you know, so that I have a pretty good visual idea uh, of where I want to, to take the, the image. Um, the more specific the design needs to be, the more I will put into this upfront design process. Uh, in the case of this stamp, um, you know, there, there were very specific guidelines as to uh, the text that had to go on to the stamp, uh, the fact that the design was going to be reduced to a, you know, a, a very small image meant that I had to come up with, with a, a design that was very uh, simple in, in its readability. Uh, in, in other words, the, the silhouettes of the ducks needed to easily be um, understood even when it was reduced. And of course, I had to leave uh, room for the, the information to go on the stamp. It's about, um, it's about visual problem solving. So I will start almost every project with research. It's a lot of uh, trial and error as I come up with the best design. And sometimes I'll even do digital mock-ups. So I, I will stitch together my photos or my, my sketches or my drawings, um, and then maybe even do some digital painting over it so that I have a, a pretty good idea of what the final image is going to look like. You know, the other aspect I, I really appreciate and was inspired by in Robert Bateman's work uh, is, is the conservation angle. You know, I, I love nature. And so I loved the idea that he was helping people gain an appreciation for nature, maybe even rediscovering their love of nature, but then also that his work has raised so many funds for conservation. And that was something that always very was very inspirational to me. And uh, one of the reasons why I became involved in, um, in stamp work, uh, I, you know, I see it as, as a wonderful way to help conserve the land that we can all benefit from. Wildlife Habitat Canada has been putting its stamp on conservation since 1985. For more details on Wildlife Habitat Canada, our art competition, or the artists seen in this video, please see the links below. Thanks for watching.